What living like a millionaire feels like. The change in attitude gradually alters your reality as your new way of thinking influences your judgment and behavior. You develop into a more responsible, successful, and productive person, improve how you handle time and money, modify your surroundings, accomplish your specific goals, and get rid of anything that shouldn't be in your life. What happens in the end? You can quickly begin enjoying the lifestyle of a millionaire. In other words, you are completely in charge of your time and have all the resources necessary to lead a fulfilling life. You can take trips whenever you like, pursue hobbies and new talents, spend ample time with your loved ones, and constantly meet new people. And you didn't even have a million dollars to your name. But how is that even conceivable? Money is overrated after all. Everything revolves around time, independence, doing what you enjoy, and possessing only what is necessary. For instance, having a million dollars doesn't guarantee happiness. In fact, because of the issues faced by the wealthy, the majority of billionaires are dissatisfied. You can't have a single moment of peace or contentment when managing so much money is involved since tens of thoughts about money, business, investors, new initiatives, or anything else keep popping into your head. It also prevents you from sleeping at night. However, things are far better if you merely have a millionaire's mindset, run a little business or work for yourself, and earn just enough money to live the life you choose. A millionaire may be regarded as a success in his field, but sometimes he didn't even set out to become one. He doesn't have a strong passion for it. He has no spare time to go on vacation or do the activities he likes. He is unable to work on fresh artistic endeavors whenever the mood strikes him or quit the game abruptly. Money acts as a jail in this scenario. Even when they desire to quit, millionaires frequently reach a point where they are unable to stop producing money. As a result, they are unable to enjoy even one meal alone or ask their children about their day since there is constantly another meeting, deal, or call to make. You should not overspend. Finance 101, but the majority of people never practice it. No credit is one of the most fundamental financial guidelines that you should begin adhering to at a young age. Asterisk zero loans. Asterisk spending less than income. Asterisk reduce most of your spending. Asterisk spend less. Describe the ideal way of living. You must be shrewd if you want to think like a millionaire. But before doing anything else, you should be clear on your goals and the elements of your present way of life that you wish to leave behind. Your vision statement will be that. Detail rich writing is required. Imagine the scene and draw it. Include the people you want to be around you soon, the activities you'd like to have time for, and the aspects of your current life that you detest such as getting up early to commute to work at a job you detest. Make goals from the words you just typed. Keep that list handy. You'll need to refer to it frequently when you need inspiration. Time management hacks. The way you handle your time has a direct impact on how you handle your finances and your life. It's a very valuable resource, and if you don't know how you're using it, there's a good possibility you're squandering a lot of time. So record your daily activities for a week. Analyze the outcomes after that. Check how many hours you spend each day on each activity, task, and project. Is it required? Can it be completed faster? How can it be improved to produce better results? It's acceptable to get rid of some items that you believe to be essential but aren't helping you. You will then have more time for the important things. Being ruthless with your time is essential to developing a millionaire mindset. Spend it only on things that matter to you and that are directly related to your goals. Don't let errands or daily tasks rob you of it. This entails declining requests frequently and possibly even offending people occasionally. But getting there is a critical step in the right direction. Don't overthink things, though. 4. Start a side business and quit your normal job to focus on it. Having a millionaire mindset and following that lifestyle entails being your boss and not working for anyone else to get rich. One of the longest and most time-consuming aspects of the entire change is that put sufficient thinking, effort, and focus into it. The simplest way to quit your job and start your own business is as follows. Make research. Check out what the internet has to offer, how other people are building their online enterprises, which markets are lucrative, etc. Decide on a specialty. It must be something you are passionate about so that you won't get bored in a few years. Something you are good at, you should either already have a skill or experience in the field, or you should be willing to learn it and share your knowledge. And something people are willing to pay for. Now is the time to research the competition to ensure that there are already products or services being sold in the industry and that there is a chance for you to get a piece of the pie. Begin developing your brand. Since you'll be working alone, you should establish a reputation in your industry. This is a lengthy procedure, thus regular, modest steps are required. Study up on branding. Now is the perfect time to create a website, pick up a few WordPress tips, launch a blog, and sign up for all the major social media networks. I started blogging as a hobby, but eventually made $50,000 from it as a company. In my income reports, I disclose my blog's earnings, 
To achieve financial independence and live the life I desire, I also built a course in which I share everything I've learned over the previous five years about creating and monetizing a blog. Add value. It's necessary to perform tasks for free before earning money online because that's how the internet operates. However, it will eventually pay off because it will become a part of your portfolio and brand. Start creating and sharing excellent blog pieces, share intelligent social media posts and comments, and offer to work for free for a few clients if you already have a profession and are skilled at what you do. Networking. Connections will be made continuously. From responding to social media comments, contacting influencers, and thanking them for being an inspiration to inquiring about potential consumers' greatest challenges in life with the sole intention of developing a product that will support them in the future. Your first dollar is made. Join websites like Upwork and start pitching businesses if you plan to work as a freelancer remotely to land your first job. Put processes in place, start experimenting, and produce a ton of material if you plan on increasing website traffic and ultimately monetizing the blog. If you're going to create your product and sell it on a third-party platform, such as an Amazon self-published book, an Uding Beginners course, or something else, make it high quality. Everything changes as soon as you make your first few dollars online. You're coming closer to having the mindset of a millionaire now. Work on your side business whenever you can, in the morning, at night, during lunch, and on weekends. When your internet revenue equals your current salary, quit your 9-to-5 job. Create instead of consuming. Here are a few instances. Rich people make more money, successful people contribute without expecting anything in return, and creative people write, design, or create something new. There is, however, more to that. They also produce opportunities, jobs, information, artwork, ideas, tactics, etc. They even enjoy cooking for themselves, writing their books, coming up with fresh concepts, starting new initiatives, and devising innovative business or life hacks. However, commoners behave in the exact opposite way to millionaires. They consume the information already available, purchase and consume food from the closest supermarket without considering how it will affect their bodies and minds, work a job that has been given to them without starting their own business, and rely on others for guidance and inspiration, rather than finding a way to be their supporters. You can now understand how dissimilar these two viewpoints are. You also need to approach life like a creative if you want to become a millionaire. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.